Hi, welcome to my, my little confessional here. Uh, I'm creating this intimate space because I do intimate work and talk a lot about self-worth and it's hard to say you have low self-worth or you're struggling with self-worth and I can admit today and I can acknowledge now that that has always been a big struggle of mine um, and it's kind of painful looking back and I'm hoping that if I share some of my stories you will know you're not alone and you will know that the struggle is real <laughs> and other people feel the same way that you do and um, Pact is here to support you. So I'm going to share a little bit about my self-worth journey um, on a monthly basis just so you can learn more about me and why I do what I do and how Pact came to be. So in the interest of our Ultimate College Life Toolkits, I'm going to take you back to my senior year in high school, it's February 1994, and um, I am, you know, kind of coasting through, just riding out the end of the year, and um, looking forward to college. And my brother, I have a twin brother, he tells me that his girlfriend is pregnant. So I, you know, it, it was upsetting. It was a little disturbing. Like him, we're the same age, right? We're twins and we're doing the same things. So it was very easy for me to like walk in his shoes. And it, um, you know, made me wonder what I would do. And um, I didn't want to be faced with that decision because I knew what I would do and it didn't make me feel good about myself. So my goal was just never to have to make that decision. So if I could stay safe and not get pregnant, I wouldn't really have to worry about that. Um, how was I gonna do that? You know, it's not like I had adults to go talk to about this stuff. Um, I went to Catholic school. Uh, they don't talk about <laughs> anything related to relationships and sex and love and all that stuff, abortion and birth control. Um, my parents are like normal parents and that don't talk to kids about sex. Uh, so I was kind of like left on my own, but it also made me realize I wanted to be a different type of adult. Um, you know, I have younger sisters and so I wanted to make sure they had somebody to go to. So back then that was probably more of like a motivating factor. But uh, so here we go, off to college, you know, parents totally missed it teachable moment I you know laugh about it now but they're like parents <laughs> um, any other parents and uh, so luckily there's Planned Parenthood and this is before the internet so I am just going there with friends and um, collecting pamphlets and trying to learn about my body and ovulation and fertility and STDs and sex and intercourse and abortion and what you know all these things that we don't learn about anywhere which is just so funny to me that we are humans like procreating humans and we don't know any of this information um anyway so i'm very grateful that i i was faced with the opportunity to gather information on my own and you know it was enough to get me through college and i never had to make the choice if I was gonna continue college and play soccer or I was gonna be a mom, you know? Um, and my sisters, you know, survived as well. Um, you know, they're probably the first PAC participants, <laughs> whether they liked it or not. But uh, yeah, so knowing what I know now, that was definitely like pivotal moments in my life to put me on the trajectory towards where I am today. And if you want to hear more stories about my journey, please check back every month and listen to my, my little confessional here. And I'll share intimate details of my life that show you how I became the person I am today. Thank you.